Hello, everybody. Welcome to House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. What a week we are having with our four famous faces. They are battling it out to win this trophy. I'm going to hand it over tomorrow. Shall we meet them? They are Keddie Cates, Tiger Drew Honey, Desiree Birch, and Matt Allwright. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back. What a week. Day one, day two, Monday and Tuesday, Matt won both shows by one point from Kelly. Yesterday, Kelly got her revenge. Very well done. Should we take a look at the leaderboards as it stands? Desiree has five, Tiger six. Matt and Kelly absolutely tied on ten points. That sporting instinct is kicking in. You're one of our finest sporting presenters. And you can tell anyone who is around sport at all, they know exactly when to kick off the bend. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll know more by the end Was of today. Was it today's. nice to get a bit of revenge, It might though. just be a little kind of Wednesday blip. Tiger. Mm. Now, we had two days where you've been bottom of the leaderboard throughout. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah. second place. There was a surge. How did that feel? It felt pretty damn magical. It was good, wasn't it? It was beautiful yeah. to watch. Desiree. Desiree, now, <sighs> you were leading throughout yes. most of yesterday. That final round kills you every time. Yeah, Answer so Smash many... is a dream ruiner. Yeah. I've figured it out. That's what we should call it the dream ruiner. Yes. <laughs> I keep saying to the producers, let's call it that. Matt, two days still to go. You're still top of the leaderboard. You've taken home two prizes. Yeah. Should we take a look at today's prizes? Mm -hmm. Here they are. Could be walking home with any of these. Hello, what's that I see? It's a shoehorn. You are quite right. You've got a towel. There's a House of Games Richard Osman action doll. Binoculars, and you've got a tease maker there as well. Matt, what would you go for, do you think? Oh, it's got to be the tease maker. I, that looks like a modern one. I didn't even know they still made them. Oh, they still make them, mate. It's a thing of beauty. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Shall we play our first round? Mm. Yes. OK, let's do it. The first round today is going to be... <laughs> Mouse of Games. Now, you see what we've done there? We've taken a television programme and we've changed one letter to make a new television programme, Mouse of Games. That's what we're going to do in this round. We have taken a series of classic films and we've changed each title by one letter. We're now going to show you a synopsis of that new film. Can you tell us what these films are, please? Kelly, we will start with you. So here is yours. We have taken a classic film, changed one letter, and this is the synopsis for the new film we've invented. A pampered cocker spaniel falls in love with a streetwise stray who is then elected president of the USA. They share spaghetti. Is it Lady and the Trump? Is the right answer, the Lady and the Trump. <laughs> Very well done. Tiger, mm -hmm. do you understand what we're doing? I do, yeah. Yes, get in. Here's <laughs> yours. We changed a classic movie by one letter. Here's the new synopsis. EastEnders actress June Brown plays ukulele in a jazz band which is infiltrated by two men in drag on the run from mobsters. So a lot of that is referring to the original film. Which I'm not familiar with, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Matt Allwright is pretending he doesn't have his finger on his buzzer. He's hiding his ha hand behind his buzzer. Kate's is on her buzzer. <laughs> Birch, yet to be on her buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the film with the ukulele in a jazz band, I'm just... Oh, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not sure about it, so... OK, shall we time you out? Yeah. Fingers on buzzers, everyone else. Oh, Matt, all right, got in there just before Kelly Cates. Matt. Some like it dot. Some like it dot is the correct answer. Well done if you said that. Some like it hot. Let's change it to dot. Oh, right, and dot. Dot cotton. cotton. Yeah, there you are, yeah. you see. Desiree, here is yours. <sighs> what film have we altered here? On Europe's most luxurious train service, an FBI agent, more used to dealing with the paranormal, investigates a murder. Do you know this one? Okay. Kelly knows it. Do you know it, Matt? Mi oh. OK, I'm just going to throw out a guess because I can't lose any okay. points here, right? Yeah. Because I have none. OK, so <laughs> is it Mulder on the Orient Express? Yeah. Oh, well <laughs> played. That is absolutely right. God, that's clever. What's a Mulder? The, Mulder Fox uh, Mulder. The, uh, X-Files. Or X-Files. David Duchovny. Uh, Fox Mulder. That's clever. Yeah. No, no well idea. Well done. You one. have no idea how annoyed Matt and Kelly looks. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah. When yeah, you got that. I was like, OK, I can do this. <laughs> Matt, here is yours. What film have we subtly changed here? Grace Kelly's character is framed by her husband for killing a lentil curry. Is that Dahl M for murder? I'm oh. rather afraid it is, yes. That's Dahl M for murder. Awesome. Well done if you said that at home. 
That's a shocker, it's isn't it? Good. No, I like that. You like that one? Yeah, I'll We're go We're going to go it. down the line again. Our new category is... Theatre. Mm -hmm. So we've changed the titles of classic plays by one letter. And here's the synopsis of the new show we've invented. Kelly, here's yours. A moving tale about a tiny fish on top of a house dreaming of what life would be like if he was a rich man. Tiddler on the roof. Is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, this one, isn't it? Yeah. Tiger, here's yours. Come on, be good. What play have we subtly changed here? A grown-up wizard working for the Ministry of Magic takes a vehement dislike to a South American country. Um. No. No. Have you got this one at home? Fingers on buzzers, everybody else. Yes, Kelly. Harry Potter, the cursed chili. Harry Potter and the cursed chili is the correct answer. Well done. Yeah. Limey. Yeah. That's it. It's the cursed child. Is the. Yeah. Uh, um... But again, if you don't know it, Desiree, here is yours. Which letter have we changed here to make a new play? A canny bachelor, Petruchio, marries a headstrong, green-skinned ogre but has a demanding task on his hands, domesticating it. Oh, Taming of the Shrek? <laughs> it's the right answer. <laughs> Very well done. The Taming of the Shrek. Well done if you've got that at home. Should be the Taming of the Shrew, of course. Last question in this round, Matt, all right? This is fun. I could just play this for the rest <laughs> of the show. Here's yours, Matt. An aristocratic Russian family down on its luck visits an area of cultivated fruit trees known for its jolly ambiance. Oh. There's a lot to take in there. The cheery orchard. Mm. The cheery orchard nice. is the correct answer. Well played. Change the yeah. cherry orchard to the cheery orchard. Well played, everybody. Well played at home. I wonder if anyone got all eight of those. Should we take a look at the scores as they stand? Mm. Tiger, I fear we may have gone yep. back to our uh, old ways. Let's take a look. Tiger yet to score. Desiree has two and lead. It's been like this all week, hasn't it? Kelly and Matt have three points each. <laughs> well played. Should we play another round, Tiger? Yeah, let's okay, try. Let's see what <laughs> it is. We are going to play... <laughs> Build your own question. This is a team round. As always with a team round, Tiger, <laughs> the person in last place gets to choose their partner. Today, that person is Tiger. Whose team would you like to be on? You've chosen Matt the last couple yeah, of days. Yeah, I, I, I think there would be an element of betrayal in choosing anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, <be> betray. <laughs> <laughs> I want you in that chair. I yeah. want to be there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're going to go for Matt again. Right. Uh, Desiree <laughs> and Tiger, if you change places, please. Now, build your own question. This is what's going to happen. You're going to see four categories down the left-hand side of the board, four down the right. Kelly, you'll choose something from the left. Desiree, you'll choose something from the right. And we will give you a question that combines those two categories. OK. OK. Let's take a look at today's categories. On the left-hand side of the board, we have... Birds, fruit and veg, tennis, Manchester. On the right-hand side of the board, children's television, guitars, money, excretions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to birds and excretions. <laughs> that's all Gosh. I will say. Kelly, would you choose a category from the left-hand side of the board, please? I think fruit and veg. Fruit and veg, mm. says Kelly. And Desiree, what should we combine that with on the right-hand side of the board? Money. Fruit and veg and money. I'm trying to work out fruit and veg and guitars. What's the yeah. question? <laughs> birds, uh, guitars and money is like a rock band, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fruit and veg and money. What is your question that combines those two? Here it comes. According to the Royal Mint, Prince Albert started the British festive tradition of hiding which coin amongst the fruit of a Christmas pudding? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's <Okay>. good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a sixpence, a silver sixpence? So the sixpence says Kelly. Let's take a look. Is the right answer. Mm. Well played. Very well done, Desiree. Yeah, I mean, just that is nice. Deferring is. Mm. Tiger, <laughs> would you choose a category, please, from the left hand side of the board? You can go with the same as we've seen before or a brand new one. Fruit and veg. He's gone fruit and veg mm. again. I Interesting. Think so. Matt, what would you like to combine that with? Guitars. Guitar there we go. <laughs> now yeah. we find out. <laughs> fruit and veg and guitars. What's the question that combines those two? 
Which singer and guitarist from the band Orange Juice later had a solo UK hit single in 1995 with a girl like you? Edwin Collins. Is that your final answer, Tiger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I... <laughs> Let's see, is Tiger right? Was it Edwin Collins? It was the wonderful Edwin Collins. Very well done. Very well played. Desiree, I wonder if you would now choose a category from the left-hand side of the board for Sounds your good. team. I'm going to go with tennis. Tennis, says Desiree and Kelly. Right-hand side of the board. Money. Money. <laughs> yes. Tennis and money. Here is your question that combines the two. In which decade did Wimbledon first offer equal prize money to male and female players? That's crazy recent. Right. 2010s, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. like, this yeah. decade? Yeah. You think the 2010s? Yes. 2010s, yes. say Desiree and Kerry. Is that the correct answer? It is incorrect, it I'm afraid. Really? Like... Let's take a look at the answer. It yeah, is okay. 2000. Oh, okay. 2007 was the no, first was year, 2007. Oh. Matt, would you choose a category from the left-hand side of the board, please? I'm going to say Manchester. Manchester. Tiger, come on, help us out, mate. Something from the right-hand side of the board? Let's go for extreme. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Good really lad. Good lad. Here's your question that <laughs> combines Manchester and excretions. Which Dutch artist painted the work The Fortification of Paris with Houses, which was stolen in 2003, then found in a tube hidden behind a public toilet in Manchester? Um, I think, just using my intuition, he didn't whisper this to me or anything. No, 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 no I'm no, sure no. of that. Um, we'll go for Rembrandt. So Tiger is saying, Rembrandt, is he right? Yes. He is not right. Tiger? <laughs> typical Tiger, eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Shall we take a look at the correct answer? It was... Vincent oh, van Gogh, founded a Manchester public toilet. That guy. Of all things. That guy, exactly. That's the end of that round. Tiger and Desiree, if you can go back to your seats. Let's see where we stand after round two. So, Tiger, despite his Edwin Collins knowledge, has one point. Desiree has three, still out in the lead. Kelly and Matt with four. Mm. Let's get straight on, shall we, and play round three. Today, that is going to be... <laughs> Games House Of. You see what we've done there? That's yeah. House of Games in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you some questions. They're quite simple, but you must give me the answer in alphabetical order. <laughs> so all the words in the answer must come in alphabetical order, please. And when you buzz in, I want an answer straight away. Oh. No working it out as oh, soon as I'm you buzz be in. Bad at this. <laughs> 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 Can you do your name in alphabetical order? Drew Honey Tiger. Yeah, it's nice. You see, it's easy. That's not going to be one of the questions. <laughs> no. Shall we begin? Here we go. Here's your first one. According to Swiss legend, who was famously forced to shoot through an apple on his son's head? Matt. Tell William. Tell William is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> William Tell, of course, the right way round. Here's your next one. Which reality TV series set in West London launched the careers of Jamie Lang, Millie McIntosh and Spencer Matthews? That is Tiger. Chelsea in Maid. Here's the right answer, Tiger. Well played. Chelsea in Maid. Maid in Chelsea, of course. Here's your next one. Who is this character? That is Kelly. Bear Paddington. Bear Paddington. Well done. Well played. Bear Paddington. What's the answer to this one, please, in alphabetical order? Captain Hook is the arch enemy of which J.M. Barry title character? Yes, Kelly. Pan Peter. Pan Peter, well done, Pan Peter. <laughs> A piece of music now. What is the title of this song in alphabetical order? Yes, Desiree. Uh, dance, I, somebody, wanna with. Oh, it's the right answer. 
That is very well played. Dance, I somebody wanna win. <laughs> very well played. I was so tense yeah. during that. <laughs> Here is your next question. What's the answer in alphabetical order? Which actor played Bert in the 1964 film Mary Poppins? Yes, Kelly. Dick Dyke Van. <laughs> Dick Dyke Ooh. Van is the correct <laughs> answer. Well done. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke, of course. Uh, here's tricky your stuff. next clue. It is tricky. Yeah. Which baseball team with a record 27 World Series titles is known for the pinstripes on its home uniforms? Yes, Matt. New Yankees York. Is the right answer. New Yankees York. Well played, New York Yankees. <laughs> Final question in the round. Picture question. What film is this, please? Yes, Kelly. Framed Rabbit Roger Who. You're good, yeah. yes. Yeah. The right answer. Really? Framed yeah. Rabbit Roger Who. Who framed Roger Rabbit. Shall we take a little look at the scores at the end of that round? Good round for Kelly there, I think. Mm. I think everyone scored points. Yeah. Yeah. Tiger, you have two. Desiree, you have four. Matt, you have six. Kelly, you have eight. Well played. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Kelly Cates. <laughs> well done. <laughs> two rounds to go. Shall we play round four? Mm -hmm. OK, let's do it. I'll press this buzzer. Our next round is going to be... <laughs> the nice round. Oh. The nice round. We call it this because you help each other out and you can even give each other points. Today's category is... People. I'm going to ask each of you to give me the name of a famous person. They are on these cards here. What you're going to do is your three opponents are each going to write down a one-word clue to who the person is. If you hand those out to your three opponents, please, Kelly. If you get it right, you get a point. And you'll also give a point to the person who gives you the best clue, the most useful clue. So if you all have a little look at who the person is... Get your tablets out and write a one-word clue to that person. We'll then present those three clues to Kelly. You'll have a little guess. Hmm. Has everyone written down a clue? Mm-hmm. OK. We're looking for the name of a person, Kelly. Tiger, give us a one-word clue to that person. Uh, moustache. Moustache, says Tiger. Desiree, what is your clue? Tramp. Tramp, says Desiree and Matt. Kane. Kane. So, moustache, tramp. Kane, what do you think? Is it Charlie Chaplin? It surely is Charlie Chaplin. Is that the right answer? <laughs> it is indeed. Well played. What was the most useful clue there for you? Moustache is interesting. It could, yeah. have, all, could have been Hitler as well, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, but... it was modelled on yeah, Charlie yeah. Chaplin's or, or Tom Selleck. <laughs> yeah. I have to pick someone. Tiger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go, Moustache <laughs> Tiger. You also get well, a point. What's Charlie Chaplin well most famous for? Yes, yeah. moustache. Moustache, absolutely. Well done. Well done, Tiger. Well done, Kelly. Now, Tiger, it's your turn. You're going to guess a person now. Your three opponents are going to have a little look at who that is. If you pass those along to your opponents, please. So, one word each. Tiger will then guess who it is. Point if you guess it right, Tiger. And a point to the person who gives you the best clue. Desiree, what's your clue to this person? Well, I figured that others would have put more descriptive things okay. about this person, so I just wrote that she's a woman, so that you don't confuse her with other... So, woman. So, we have narrowed it down to 50% of the people <laughs> yes. who've ever been born. But I think... If we can narrow it down a bit more it. in the next two clues, we are laughing. <laughs> Matt, what have you said? I've narrowed it down to a little bit of the world. Orleans. I don't think I'm gonna get no. this. Kelly, what have you said? I put Marta. Martyr. Mm. Woman? Orleans? Martyr. A martyr is someone who dies in the name of God. Is that right? And a woman is... <laughs> 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 and I guess uh, Matt is referring to New Orleans. I've just got nothing. OK. Do you want to just not, not a proper an answer, or should we, between us, make up a name of a human being? <laughs> Listen, we know it's a woman. It's a woman, so we could go... Sarah. Sarah. And New Orleans, <laughs> you're thinking, so maybe an American surname? Volcano. 
<laughs> okay, okay, that's. Uh, that is. Oh my God, oh. Saint Sarah so volcano. We're going Sarah. <laughs> no, not, not volcano. We're thinking Sarah volcano. We're not going volcano. We're going vol volcano. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Sarah volcano. <laughs> hey. I wonder if anyone else at home has said Sarah Volcano. <laughs> Surely not. Is that a correct answer? Oh, you are oh, kidding me. What? It is, it is, it so is not, I'm afraid. So close. It was the, the old Orleans, really, yes. you need to, to yeah. think of. It was the maid of Orleans herself. Joan of Arc was the answer. Oh. Joan of Arc. We can still give away a bonus point. There's some good clues there. In hindsight, the one thing that I know about her is that she was a martyr. So, so you I give think, a point to Kelly. I think I should give it back to Kelly. Also, I'm trying to chase you down, so... <laughs> yeah, no, you can't be giving out Ooh, freebies. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, that's fine. So that's the clue that you would have known most about Joan of Arc, yeah. was Marta. OK, yeah. we give a point to Kelly. Well done, Kelly. I'm still loving Sarah Volcano. Desiree, you've got a person to guess now. Your three opponents are going to write down a clue. All had a I'll look. Pass pass. Tricky. You happy, Tiger? Do you know who it is? Yeah, I do know who it is, but I'm trying to work out what these guys won't have put, but... Has everyone written down a word? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Desiree, you're going to guess a person. Matt, what's your clue for Desiree? Five. I'm really hoping the others help me out. Uh-huh. Kelly. Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Tiger, what have you written? I said perfume. Perfume. So five, Gabrielle and perfume are your clues. Who are they hinting at? Oh, um, Coco Chanel? Let's take a look. Is it Coco Chanel? It yes. is Coco Chanel. Well done. That was well done, yeah. Very nicely done. I'll tell you what. I think no one gets a bonus point there. I think it was all. I think there are three good clues. I think that's it's unfair true. to put one of them above that the others. Good... But a point for Desiree for getting oh, it yeah. right. I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> 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 Thanks for the help, guys. <laughs> Matt, all right. It is your turn to guess a person. Actually, this is going to be tricky because I don't really know much about this person. Uh oh, that's good news. <laughs> Kelly, deep in thought. Um, has everyone got an answer? I think so. Kelly, what's your word? Lover. Lover. Tiger. So for about the first minute of that, I I just had the word foreign written down. Are you giving two clues? Yeah. Two. <laughs> but I thought I'd try and be more specific and go Russian. R Russian. Question mark, question mark, <laughs> okay. question mark. Russian? Russian? Desiree? I am relieved because that was the first thing I was going to write. I don't even think this is a word, but... Inextinguishable. 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 I couldn't think of the word for Desiree. the thing I wanted to say. Matt, what do you think? If you think about the archetypal lover of all time, is Rudolf Valentino, who I'm not aware of him being Russian. <laughs> the other one is Casanova. Uh, I'm going to have to say Rudolf Valentino. You're going to go with Rudolf Valentino. Is that a correct answer? It is not. You're going to kick yourself, no, Matt. I feel it was responsible no, for this. It was inextinguishable, impossible to kill, Didn't, right? That's what I was trying to find so the word Russian for. So a lover who is impossible to kill... It was Rasputin. Rasputin yeah. is the right Sorry, answer, inex yes. Inextinguished led you astray trying to say unmurderable, but I don't... Matt, are any of those clues worthy of a point, do you think? Russian lover? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so, no points for anyone on that, and that is the end of the round. Tablets away, please. Let's take a look at the scores going into our final round on this Thursday's House of Games. Here's how we stand. Tiger has three, Desiree has five, Matt has six. Four-point lead, wow. Kelly Cates on ten. <laughs> Blimey. Shall we play the final round? It is, as always... Answer smash. Two clues, as always, one a picture, one a clue. You smash the answers together. Your first category is... American rappers. The pictures will be American rappers. Smash their names together with the clues you see beneath. Point for a correct answer. You lose a point if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer. Here's your first one. What is the name of the fictional coffee house in the US TV sitcom Friends? Yes, Tiger. 50 Central Park. 
50 Central Perk is the right answer. Well done. It's 50 Cent and Central Perk. Smash them together and that is what you get. Here's your next one. Which substance made by emulsifying vegetable oils is commonly used as a substitute for butter? Yes, Matt. Kendrick Lamargarine. Kendrick Lamargarine is the correct yeah. answer. Very well done. Kendrick Lamar and margarine. Well played. Here's your third one. Which medium hard cow's milk cheese was originally produced in a valley in the Swiss canton of Bern? That is Matt. M and Emmental. <laughs> it is M and Emmental. Very well done. M and M and Emmental. It's creeping up. Here's your next category. It is salad ingredients. What is the answer we're looking for? Here's your first one. Which 1969 film stars Dennis Hopper and Peter Fonda as bikers who travel from Los Angeles to New Orleans? That is Matt. Chick Peasy Rider. Chick Peasy Rider is the correct oh, answer, yes. Matt. Here's the next one. Which actor narrated the TV series The Wombles and had a 1962 UK top ten hit with the song Right Said Fred? Matt Allwright. Cucumber Bernard Cribbins. Cucumber Bernard Cribbins is the right answer. Cucumber and Bernard Cribbins. It's a virtuoso performance. Here is your next clue. Who was the lead singer of the 1980s band Spandau Ballet? Kelly. To Martoni Hadley. To Martoni Hadley is the right answer, Kelly. Ooh. Oh, that is the end of the round. No one has ever thrown away a four point lead <laughs> in this round. That was an awesome performance. Yeah. Maybe you saved yourself at the end. Let's yeah. find out, shall we? You won Monday and Tuesday, Matt. Kelly, you won yesterday. Who has won today? Today's winner on the House of Games is... It's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly yeah. Cates by one point. Yeah. All week, the two of you have been nip and tuck. <laughs> Kelly, which prize would you like to take home? You took home the House of Games sparkling wine yesterday. What do you fancy today? It's got to be the tea's made, surely. I don't... Do you want to swap anything I've got? I'll swap you the apron for the tea's made. Do you want...? Yes. Do you want an apron? Well, I'm more likely to use an apron. Yeah. And I'll hang it up in the kitchen and I will always be reminded of my wonderful days on, <laughs> <laughs> on House of Games. So you're choosing uh, House of Games tea's made yes. and you're going to give it to Matt. OK, yeah. well done, Kelly Cates. There we go. We have one show to go. We will discover our winner. who will be walking home with this trophy. Who is it going to be, though? Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard going into that final day. Tiger, you have seven points. So do you, Desiree. Matt has 13. <laughs> Kelly has 14 Whoa. points. Leading going into the final day. But don't forget Friday, double points Friday. Mm. So anybody can still... I say anybody can still win. Kelly right. and Matt can, can still, still win. win. <laughs> <laughs> but who's going to come third? That's what everyone wants to <laughs> That's know. That's really what we're working on. So I will see you again for the all-important Friday show tomorrow. I'll see you again as well. But for today, it's goodbye from the House of Games. <laughs>